The United States stands for an idea whose time is now. Ronald Reagan will win tonight. What a schmuck. <laughs> In Armageddon time, director James Gray draws on his own childhood to create this moving coming-of-age story. Jeremy Strong is the stern father of a young boy struggling to cope with growing up. Strong told me Gray shared some deeply personal memories while filming. I feel that my job working on this was to was to try and travel into James's childhood. I've never before worked on something where the real expert is 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 my director who who has who has known this person his whole life and knows this person greater than I possibly ever could. So so to be able to share that with James and sort of go to the waters of his childhood was a really profound and challenging thing. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning, good morning, good morning, rise and shine and don't be a lug nut, lug nut. Wake up, up and at him. Come on, I, I, I can't, uh, I, got, I got a steam boiler to fix at nine. I can't hang around. Up. What do we have here? Oh, Holy smoke, this is real Oka Bunka music. Who can listen to this? Another, another classic, another sterling record in your brother's collection. Come on. I can't imagine you not comparing or going back to incidents in your own life in this process. Am I right? No, I did. I mean, my grandfather was a plumber who lived in Flushing. Oh, that, really? That gave me a sense of everything could be predicated on that one uh, that one patch of truth that existed in my own life, and and then I could build from there. Well, there are, are we all have lots of things in common. You, you're a father, uh, and uh, we know as parents, all of us go, I'm doing the best I can, and trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to run a family, to raise a child, and you keep bumping into that wall that there there is no formula. Do you agree? Well, I certainly have a sense of, I think, flailing and ineptitude uh, and, 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 and a perpetual attempt to do better, uh, an attempt to sort of to parent uh, uh, closer to the better angels of your nature and not always being able to do that. And I think, what, you know, one of the many things that I loved about what James wrote in the, in the film that we made is the way he puts characters kind of uh, in the crosshairs of these real ins insoluble problems and, and forces of pressure that are on them from all sides that, that force them to make difficult and compromised choices. Oh, look at you. Come here. Look at you. Oh. A young man. First day of the rest of your life. You look absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I look like a total idiot. No, you don't. I can't even have a normal knapsack. A normal uh, knapsack? Why would you want a normal knapsack when you can have this? This is an attaché case. This is class A1. This, this says, I am ready to work. I come as a student. You just want me to be like you. What? You just want me to be like you. No. No, big boy. I want you to be a whole lot better than me. That's what I want. Uh, for better or for worse, we compare everything you do right now to succession. And again, it's a family drama. And so do you see parallels there? One could look at a sort of language of a family and, and a language of sometimes abuse and sometimes a language of cruelty. I mean, there is, there is abuse, there is emotional abuse being inflicted on these children. Uh, in this film by me and in that show by my father. Um, but certainly when, when you enter into these worlds as an actor, they don't exist. The other one doesn't exist for you. When you get a leg up, you make the most of your break. On the Hollywood scene with Jeremy Strong, I'm Jeannie Wolfe.